kind of touch on uh, basically at home or in shop or in garage wheel chewing. Basically gonna uh, address the side to side. So if you get a spin and you get a little movement to the left or to the right, we hit something um, and you don't have a chewing stand, we're gonna be able to do it, uh, basically touch up on it while it's on the bike. Gonna use the side brake pads. This is a sidewall braking, braking system. And um, it may not be perfect, not like a regular chewing stand, but we'll be able to get you straight enough to maybe you're uh, not rubbing on the brakes and um, all that good stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and use the sidewall or uh, the brake side brake here as my marker, my caliper to find where my rub is. So if I give it a spin, wheel's gonna be moving over to the one side, just establish if it's your left or your right side. And then once you find that rub, if you need to, you can go ahead and tighten up your brakes, use your barrel adjuster, tighten up your brakes. That'll help bring the brake pad closer so you can be a little more fine to finding that where that rub is. So establish, either you're gonna look for it visually or you're going to listen. I like to do both. Find the center of that rub. So you want to establish where that rub is. This one is over, if I'm standing looking forward at it, this is on my right, but if I'm sitting on the bike, it's going to be the left side. So if it's if you get it perfect to where you give it a spin, let the wheel slow down a little bit, eventually the wheel will stop right where your the, the most of your rub is. So you can look at that and it's this isn't a perfect science, but you're choosing the, the spoke that's somewhat in the middle of that brake pad. Um, or you can kind of move back a little bit, okay, it's free. Again, finding the center of that rub. Boom, starts there. Starts right about here. And then I feel it let go right about there. So from here to here, and then we'll find the center of that rub, which is right about here. So my rub is on this side. If I follow this spoke down, if I follow this spoke down, the spoke is going down to my left side of the flange. This is the same side as my rub is on, so I do not want to tighten the spoke. If I tighten this spoke, it, all it's going to do is make the wheel pull that direction and rub this brake more. So I'm going to choose this, the spoke on the other side and just make sure that's still the center or close to the center of your rub. So, boom. So this guy being the center of the rub, we need to find two spokes on the other side. So if I choose these two over here, these two are going over to the right side of my, which is opposite side of my rub. So I'm gonna tighten these two and loosen the middle. So make sure you find the right side spoke wrench. You want a nice tight fit, nothing loose. So we're tightening this spoke. Pretend we have a screwdriver coming in the backside and we're tightening clockwise. And just turn your, your spoke wrench the same way. So if I'm turning clockwise here, this spoke wrench needs to follow the same direction, just like that. So if I'm moving left or right, it needs to go the same direction. In this case, we're going to the right and you should be in a good spot there. So we're tightening this guy. So when in doubt, we're tightening clockwise, just like this. And this guy's really, really loose, so I can almost sneeze on it and it'll come loose. I'm gonna give it another turn right there. So that's one full turn right there. And so far, I'm gonna do this one here only because actually I used loosened one of these for, for, learn, for teaching purposes on the video. So after you tighten about a quarter to a half turn, then you're going to test it again. Just like any, it's going to be patient. Give it a spin and your rub should be less or almost disappearing. And then visually it shouldn't be moving over to that right side or left side hitting that brake pad. So just continue that process. And then here's this, the second method. If we're using a two or three spoke method, find in the center of that rub. It's like right about there. So say it's this guy here and this, is going over to the opposite side of my rub. Rub is on this side. This spoke is over on the left, the opposite side. So I'm gonna use this one to tighten. So you would tighten this a quarter turn. And then you would go to the uh, two outside spokes, which are going over to the same side as your rub. And then you would release tension. So instead of going clockwise, pretending you have a screwdriver here, instead of going clockwise like this, 
we're gonna go counterclockwise and make sure this tool follows the same direction as this hand. So we're going this direction, just like that. Quarter turn, skip a spoke. Make sure you get the next spoke that is on the same side as that flange that you just were on. Get that on there tight. And if you find that a nipple's rounded off, so rounded off, you might have to replace it. You might have to pull your tire and tube off, take the tire liner off, replace that one nipple. Again, we're gonna be loosening. So we're going counterclockwise, following this hand here, just like that, boom. And then you should give it another spin and it should be quieter or slowly getting quiet because we're just doing small increments. We don't want to overdo anything and just keep doing that until you visually don't see that, that big movement over hitting the, the brake pad or that sound is just slowly disappearing. And then you can keep going until the cows come home or you can get it well enough to where you're not getting a nasty rub just so you can you know, enjoy your bike ride home.